I just recently posted a picture of my belt pouch that I've had for years on Instagram, and a lot of people asked, can I see what's inside? And I have done videos in the past, but I might have changed some stuff. I can't remember, so I'm gonna show you again what's in this bad boy. So this was one of the first bushcraft projects when I really, really got into it that I did, um, as far as leather work goes, that I was super, super proud of. Like I made it and it was like everything I wanted. Um, it came out perfect. And then of course, over the years of extreme use and uh, I guess a little bit of abuse and a little bit of bacon grease rubbed on here over time. Um, wow, this is what we got left, right? So uh, still going strong. Um, but what's inside is what really counts. So let me show you that. So we have an antler toggle on here. Um, from This is from a deer that I harvested when I was younger. And then this simple pull tab, this goes over the antler like that and it, it pulls down behind the antler like that. That's what keeps it shut. So uh, pull that down, open it up. And then I have another toggle. Um, the way that I make these though, this toggle, you don't have to pull this or tie this really tight. It, it's really self-contained and then in the back of course your uh, my belt loop so inside let me uh, break it into contents okay now honestly this pretty much stays like this all the time um, what I have in here is a small pouch that I also made and in that pouch I have my flint and steel striker okay so I got that stuff going on to go of course with my flint and steel striker I have a small char tin that I carry some char in I also carry a small ferrocerium rod. I think this is important because this is somewhat of the ultimate survival fire starter. So if I have this, um, this stuff sort of just to play with and have fun with. This here though is for if I really need something to get started. I also keep my blanket pin in here. This is the first one I ever forged for myself, so it has a little bit of sentimental value to it, but I do use this thing quite often at classes. It's nice um, to be able to throw my wool blanket shawl on and uh, pin it off. A pocket knife that was my grandfather's, so this way I can still do a little bit of cutting if I need to. Um, this also works um, with this small little chisel awl um, type piece. Works really well for striking a ferro rod. So this covers everything with my ferro rod. And that's one thing you should think about always. I see a lot of people throw a ferro rod in their kit, and if their knife isn't with them or they don't have a sharp 90 degree spine on their knife and they have no striker, how are you gonna use this thing? So always think about how you're gonna strike that if you don't have a striker with you. And then next I have my flashlight. I keep a small little flashlight in here just in case I'm out um, and it's dark and I need to light something up. At least I have enough to get back to my vehicle or just see around camp quick. And then just a little bit of bank line. This will always get you through in a pinch when you don't think you have anything else. And that's it, that's what's in my belt pouch right now, 2021 spring. <laughs> um, I, these contents, honestly, they do not change all that much. I might swap out the flashlight for a different flashlight, or I might put um, a different ferrocerium rod in, or an extra couple pieces of flint, but generally this is what's in there. It's been in there for years, and it just, it lends well and treats me well, so um, I love it. Anything more than this, um, as far as pliers or fire starters or things like that, normally in my haversack. So this and my knife go on my hip and I'm out the door, grab my haversack, that's all my extra equipment that I think I'm gonna need and I like to have along with me. So um, let me know in the comments what you keep in your belt pouch. I know a lot of people that come to our classes, they carry belt pouches with them and I'm always thinking and I'm asking, what do, you, what do they got in that thing, right? Some of them are jacked full, you can't fit another thing and some of them they look like they just have one or two little fire starters and they're good to go. So let me know what you carry um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com and until the next video, stay in the woods.